So let's start talking about spreadsheets. First kind is a Google Sheet. So the easiest way to create a Google Sheet is just go to sheets.new and that will create a Google Sheet. Now notice you can put your name up here. Okay. And you're going to notice a couple things. Now it's a little bit different from Excel, but both of these are very similar. Um, so each individual box is a cell. Here you have the, the vertical here is a column and those have letters. The horizontal here is a row and those have numbers. So you can see that this is cell C6 or I can have cell H10. Now there's multiple ways to move around. You can see I am clicking right now with my mouse. I can also use my arrow keys, down key, up key, right key, left key, that's one way. Or if I am typing, okay, if I am typing, I just pressed enter and I went down. I pressed tab and I went right. Now I'm using the arrow key. Okay, now you can see there I put in a comma, but I don't really have to. There is a formatting available. In a database, you would call this an input mask. So let's say I really want commas in there. If you put a comma, it'll start formatting it as a comma. But you can see that I have here, um, I wouldn't put a dollar here, but let's say I did. I can get rid of decimals, add decimals um, on my menu bar. I can also click the formatting button and I can click what kind of format that I want. So here I want numbers, but I don't actually want to see the decimals. Okay, and then here I want numbers. Now, you can also select cells because if you see, if I type about us, now it did not format it underneath and that can be frustrating. You can also select ranges. So to select a range, you can click and drag and I wanna format all of these with the commas. So I'm going to click here on my numbers. I'm going to click there on the commas and then I'm going to get rid of the decimal places and it's going to format those numbers or those ranges. Now notice in the top we typically use these for our labels because we're going to make charts out of them. Um, also notice that I can make the cell wider if I want to and that's the whole column. I can even make it taller. You notice, look at the mouse pointer. See, the mouse pointer looks like an arrow here. Okay, and I'm gonna add a few other pages here. You can see it's formatting it correctly. Unique users is how many people actually go to a web page, and page views is how many pages that they look at on it or how many times they viewed it. So these are kind of odd numbers, probably wouldn't have these numbers, but now we're gonna say that we want to get a total. There's a couple ways to get a total. You can have the auto sum button, which does it for you. You can see functions here, and it's got all kinds of functions in here. But if I just click sum, and then I drag my range here, and I press enter, then you can see that is my total unique users. Let me do the same with page views. Now, I can do the equal sum and see it's suggesting what it wants to do. And now I'm also gonna do the average. Now, when you do an average, you have to be careful not to include, like I wouldn't wanna include the total in that. Okay, now the other thing you can do is say I want the average of these page views. I can just click this little plus and I can drag it over to the right. And now I have my average. You've got other things you can have. Maximum, which is the highest number and it suggests the max. Okay, and then I can have my minimum, which is my lowest number. 
and it's actually suggesting that. So it's got some AI built in, a little bit of intelligence there. I can click these and I can drag it over and notice that it drug over that formula there in row 9 and the minimum formula there in row 10. Now, um, this is just a typical um, spreadsheet here. Now, the other thing that I can do, and it's going to help me with this, is if I highlight all of this, and I say insert chart, it is going to give me a suggested insert of my chart and you can see it's showing unique views, users and page views it went ahead and did that for us um, I probably wouldn't do it any other way but there are other charts that I can do um, it did suggest the best one sometimes it doesn't um, but here's the cool thing about spreadsheets and why we use them some folks are like well why don't I just do all of this manually and why do I need these formulas um, and why do I need these charts Let's say um, this number was wrong and it was actually 200,000 and something. See how I change that number and it changes that. And let's say, okay, I made an error on the news. I can actually, you see this 877,000. Eight let's say that first number was actually three. I can also click up in the formula bar and edit this number. I'll put five there. These numbers didn't grow. What you want to notice, let me show you that again. Um, I'm going to click there. I'm going to back up and put the 8 again. I want you to watch the left-hand axis right here. I want you to watch that when I put in this 8. Okay, see now this, is, this top number is now a million. Okay, so these numbers haven't shrunk. These numbers have stayed the same. What happened was the axis changed. Okay, I'm going to do that again. I'm going to change this to... Let me change it to a three. Okay, you ready? Okay, now we can see the home page actually has more views than the news. Okay, so this is the advantage of using a spreadsheet is that it's calculating numbers for us. Now, big data is something that we've talked about a lot in my classes. And we're just using a tiny little bits. But, you know, websites are made. My personal website is about eight or 9,000 pages. So it's very helpful to be able to have charts and have the most uh, important information come up there. So let's review a couple things that we've, we've commented on. We can change the title up here at the top. Each of these individual boxes highlighted in blue is a cell. The vertical columns, these are columns and they are uh, spelled out with letters. Rows are horizontal, and those are numbers. This is cell B3. You can see that there. We can move around on the page. We can use the, the mouse by clicking. We can also use our arrow keys. We can use the tab key, which goes to the right. We can use the enter key, which goes down. We can select a range by highlighting. Let's say that I wanted to highlight this and make it bold. Or I wanted the whole thing to be a tad larger. Now it's larger. I can actually change the size of the column. And remember, if I want to type over a number, I can either just type over the number directly in the box Okay, or I can come up here and add a number on the front. Ooh, that changed everything, didn't it? And remember, the axis right here adjusts by the numbers. Let's go ahead and let's fix that. Okay, now if I make a really uh, a mistake here, so let's say I put a space in front here. Let's see if it'll do it. Or I'll put a semicolon. Okay, now this adjusted, but that's no longer a number, so it was taken out. Usually in Excel, it'll give you an error message. Okay, so there is just basic information on a Google Sheet. And I can also highlight my data to make a chart. But just remember, I didn't highlight this information, the totals, average, maximum, minimum, because I really just want to chart my actual pages. Okay, and a little bit of analytics, unique users is how many unique individuals go to a page and page views is how many times they viewed those pages. Typically your unique users is lower than your page views.